Cooper Town to grow up in. What was what was life like when you were young? Um, I don't know if life was that much different. I mean, I you know we went to school the same way you guys do. Um, we played sports. We played with our friends. Um, I think probably the only thing that, that might have been a little bit different is that I think that we had a little more freedom. I don't think that our parents always knew where we were. We, um, we used to go out on sailboats on, at the age of 12 and sit out in the middle of the sound and eat sandwiches and talk for hours. And we would go down to the beach at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning and, and not come home until 5 o'clock. You know, we'd run up and get a sandwich and run back down to eat it at the beach. And in the winter time, it was um, pretty much the same thing, only we would go to other people's houses and, and stay later. And, and uh, just, I don't know, I just think that we were a little bit freer. Come here, Colin. This is, this is Colin. Yeah, this is. No, I'm, I'm doing something with Titch. Mom, what were you like? When I was younger? Um, I think I enjoy playing. I think that was my big thing. I liked school. I liked to read a lot. My mother used to come up to my room and, and just a minute. My mom would come up to my room and say, come on, it's a beautiful day. You've got to get out. You can't, can't keep reading. And uh, I'd, you know, run out and go down to the beach or do something like that. I wasn't much, I didn't like brownies or Cub Scouts or anything like that. I, I wasn't much into organizations, but uh, had a good time. Uh, what was, when you're in school, what was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school was gym. Uh, like, um, of academic yeah. subject? I think... History. I think history, probably. And social studies. And what was and what was your worst? Which was the subject you hated? Academically. Ooh, that was tough. I don't think I don't think I hated any of them. What about maybe health? Health. I think I probably hated health the most. I thought that was the most. Mm -hmm. And um, who was your favorite teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher was definitely Mr. Herschler, who was my fifth grade teacher who used to read stories to us, like um, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, and Island of the Blue Dolphin, A Wrinkle in Time. And every afternoon, we'd sit and put our heads on our desks, and he would read us the most wonderful stories. And we, we wrote our own books that year. And oh, gosh, he was just, he was the greatest teacher. And what was your favorite thing to do when you were a kid? My favorite thing to do when I was a kid was ride horses. That was my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to take riding lessons and do walking, trotting, cantering, jumping, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was fun. That's fun. Just why don't we take a quick break here and we're going to get Colin settled. That means turn it off. In the summertime, we go down to the beach and um, have hot dog roasts and just swim all day. And when we were a little bit older, in the summertime, we did the same thing. And in the winter, we would go skiing. And we always went to all the basketball and football games and lacrosse games at school. Uh, so you're saying you pretty much did, in the summer, you just sort of hanged around the beach? And That's swim. all we did every day. Even when it rained, we went down to the beach. You went down the rain? We sat in the shack. Oh, yeah. How do, you, how do you think your parents tried to teach you to live your life? I think they tried to teach us how to live by example. They were really good people, and they tried to teach us right from wrong. They tried to teach us to be respectful of other people and respectful of our own family. And I think it, it all pretty much stuck. What goals did you have as a kid? As a little kid, I don't think I had any goals, but just to have fun. Mm -hmm. But as I got older, after I left college, I, I had a really weird set of goals. What was one of them? Well, I, I wanted to own a red sports car. I wanted to live by the ocean. I wanted to have a really fun job. I wanted to marry someone who really loved me a lot. And I wanted to have kids. And I got to do every single one. So my life is now complete.
Pretty much. <laughs> what were your teenage years like? Like, my teenage years were really fun. I was a cheerleader. No. I was a cheerleader, and that got me out a lot to meet a lot of people. I skied a lot, so I got to, to meet people that way. Um, I had my two best friends. One lived right in back of me, and the, the other one lived next to me. So it, uh, teenage years were a lot of fun. A lot of parties and a lot of fun. And nice people. Uh, what, did you, what, what did you major in college? In college, I majored in uh, pre-nursing. I quit college after two years, but I had basically two years of science. Two years of sciences. Uh, what or who led you to pick the job that you did? Um, I think the reason I, I became a flight attendant was because I really needed a job that, that paid me fairly well. I wanted a job that would be fun and that would take me places and my dad was an airline pilot and I had heard a lot about the airline business so I thought I'd try that. That's really all. He worked for Eastern and I worked for American. So did you like it? I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I got to see a lot of the country, a lot of the Caribbean. Uh, I got to meet the best people in the world and um, I, I made decent money and, and I had a good time doing it. What was, the thing you did, what was the thing you disliked about it the most? Boy, I think the thing I disliked most about it was when everything went wrong. When we didn't have enough meals and people were angry and the airplane was late and nothing went right. But that really didn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. um, when did you first meet Dad? I first met Dad when I was 16 and he was 17 and we were both counselors at a camp and we were introduced to each other. We shook hands and we never spoke to each other again until I was 21 and he was um, up at this camp in the winter and my parents had dragged me up to this camp in the winter where we had, we had both met previously. And um, we, met, we met up there in the camp kitchen again. And then we started going out. And, and what attracted you to him when you first met? I think the thing, the thing that attracted me most about Dad was that he was so kind. And to me, that was always the first thing that impressed me about anybody was the fact that they were really kind. How old were you when you married? I got married when I was 22, and Dad was 24. Mm -hmm. We're about 22 months apart, and uh, started a new life together. Uh, what was the first days of your marriage like? Well, the first days of our marriage were, were fun. We went on our honeymoon. I know, but we went, <laughs> went to Mexico, and then after that, the first month after we got married, I flew a schedule to Phoenix, Arizona, and I was away for 22 days. So our first days of marriage were pretty much apart. Mm -hmm. But we had a good time. We had an apartment in the city, in Greenwich Village, and uh, we had great fun. How, you, how, you, how many years after you got married did you have children? Well, I was 25 when I had you. So, almost three years after. And what, was the, uh, what was the pregnancy like? I mean, was there anything unusual that went on? No, pregnancy was pretty, pretty yeah. typical. I just got pretty big, and you were pretty active. <laughs> and then you came along in July. And, uh... There's three kids in our family, and who was each child named after? Well, Colin, the youngest, was named out of the best name baby book. We had run out of names. Scotty was named after my brother Scott, his uncle Scott. Mm -hmm. And you were named after Grandpa Saul. Daddy's dad is Grandpa Saul, mm -hmm. and his Hebrew name is Shimon. And when his mom used to yell out the window to him, they lived in a real Irish-Jewish neighborhood. Mm -hmm. 
All the kids would think she was yelling Timmy, but she was yelling Shimmy. And she'd yell out the window and say, Shimmy, Shimmy, and the kids thought he was Timmy. Mm -hmm. And so his nickname became Timmy, and there are people who still call him Timmy to this day. Really? So we, yeah, we named you after Grandpa Saul Shimmy. What was I like when I was young, yeah, about three? Uh, <laughs> well, when you were about three, you had a lot of temper tantrums. Mm -hmm. You were very active, very smart, very cute, and you could stay up later than anybody in the family. So I said it. It is really fun, I guess. Yeah, yeah it was wonderful. So what, what was a major accomplishment in your life? Hmm. I think the major accomplishment in my life as far as doing things has been having you three boys and taking care of you and loving you and being a good mom and a good wife and hopefully a good person for myself. What do you want your family to be like in the future? I want my family to be kind and giving. I hope that all of my boys will be sensitive people who see other people in trouble and, and want to help them mm -hmm. and who take care of their own families who are responsible members of society who hold a job and who, um, who love their families and stick by their families and their friends and who are loyal and trustworthy um, what are your what are your strengths my strengths? Um, I have a great overhead <laughs> when I play tennis. Um, I don't know what my, I guess my strengths are probably my patience, mm -hmm. my sense of humor. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What other strengths? And right now, as age you are, what activities do you enjoy the most? Well, other than playing tennis. Other than playing tennis. Let's see, I'm 37. I still love to ski, love to play tennis, and I love to read. I absolutely love to read. And my all-time favorite book, because I want this on the tape, is The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. And I think all of you should read it. <laughs> Pretty much like if you, when you were a kid, except we didn't play that much tennis when you were a kid, right? No, I didn't play any tennis as a kid. <laughs> I didn't play any tennis till I was 30. I missed out on all those years. What things do you want to accomplish in the future? Well, I'd like to have a better backhand. And I hope I can continue doing what I've been doing. I hope I can keep my family strong and keep my family safe and keep them heading in the direction that they're going, which I think is to be really incredible, nice human beings. And if you had your life to do all over again, what would you do differently? I don't think I would do anything differently. You know, you can pull your life apart and put it in little sections, but I love my life now, I love where I am. I love my family. I love my town and the neighborhood, this country. It's you sound pretty content. Yeah, I'm pretty content. You know, I mean, I, there are things in my life that didn't work out well. There are things that I did wrong, mistakes I made. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be the person I am today mm -hmm. if that all didn't happen to me along the way. So mm -hmm. okay. I wouldn't change anything. Not yet. Maybe you can ask me in another 10 years and maybe there's something I would change. Okay. And that's our interview and thanks for sharing your time and it was fun. Well good, I'm glad. I hope we can do this with all of our family. Yeah. I think we'll take everyone. Okay.